Yeah. Well, James, two old draw today against Senesh Muir. Um, bit disappointing, but you know, from the starting lineup, a few changes today. Was they enforced? Was it tactical? Yeah. So uh, Alex Harris was injured. Um, so Jaron coming for him and Blair replaced Uzi C. Just uh, a tactical one there as well. So. Yeah, um, and just looking looking back to the, the first goal that was conceded, um, disappointing from Edinburgh City point of view. Yeah, it's just a, a corner kick. They win the first header and the goal scorer uh, wins the second ball. So something we need, need to improve on, um, winning that first and second ball and just picking up your man and stopping, making sure they don't score. Yeah, and I suppose the, the curse of injuries um, continue. Callum Crean um, had to leave the park early. Can you give us anything on that at all? Yeah, I think he's damaged his hamstring, so it was a bit of blow to us. We had to move Liam out to full back and, and put Lee in, so it was a bit of disruption. But I thought um, I thought the boys kind of picked up after that as well and, and kind of stuck to it again. Uh, I thought they, they managed to pass the ball quite well, despite Callum Noel being there. Liam gave us a, a, a decent balance on that side, so I don't think it really affected any outcome of the game. In, in terms of the injury list, do you think this is now you know what we're seeing in, in terms of being out of action for a while, the players going into a, a fairly concentrated pre-season and then they're, they're kicking on playing a few games a week? Possibly, it's something we'll probably never know, but possibly, I mean, we've had obviously a real tough game against uh, Livingston on Tuesday when Stennis Muir uh, didn't have a game, so that was maybe to their advantage today and then obviously that's Harris and, and Crane uh, out again for, for Tuesday, so it'll be difficult. I think we need to get the season started properly and, and get back to playing Saturday to Saturday and obviously Tuesday gives us a third game in eight days. Um, so we just need to wrap them up and hope we get a team ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, looking over the game, you know, patience, possession, passing, we had it all. Uh, you know, I don't know what the stats will be at the end of the day, you know, no doubt you'll get them, but I suppose are you, are you disappointed in terms of having all of that and, and then not taking the three points at the end of the day? Yeah, those three Ps, if you want to put it, were very good, I think, in the game, but you can add another cup of that in terms of poor play for their equalising goal. So um, that was the spell they had in the game. I felt the second half, they stayed in the game. They'd done well to stay in the game, 2-1. I thought we had a lot of the ball. Um, but when they had their spell in the game, we didn't stop them. We, we, we were too open for them to score. Um, and that was really disappointing from mm. my point of view. And we had our first glimpse of uh, Rafa De Vita coming on in the second half. I think, you know, from, from the early touches that he had, the goal that he scored and, and you know, what he's given to the, the overall game in the second half, bound to be happy and, and you'll be eager to see more of him. Yeah, definitely made a great impact. I thought he showed good touches, took his goal brilliantly well, nice and calm, composed finish. He's an experienced player with good qualities and that's why we were delighted to get him. Yeah, and then we, we got the, the lottery of penalties at the end, I guess. Um, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Listen, you could win that, you could lose that. Um, Maybe not a great penalty for Liam. He probably wishes he'd just been more positive in the way he's hit it. And then obviously the goal has made a great save for Tomo. Callum's made a great save as well. So that's just the way it goes when it comes to penalties. You win some, you lose some. And looking onward again, it's, it's the next fixture coming up on Tuesday night, I think. Yeah. Uh, so Al are a good football team. I think it was 2-1 they lost today. I seen them against Airdrie. I thought they were very good. So we'll need to be at our best to, to try and match them. Obviously, championship team. Um, but it'll be a good test for us. Just need to try and recover and uh, best we can for Tuesday night. I'm sure the boys will be disappointed downstairs and, and eager to again just get get back on the pitch and get playing again. Yeah, they are. They, they knew that a lot of the aspects of their game was really good, but uh, for all that good play, we still conceded two goals, and it's for those moments in the game that we didn't do well enough, and we need to fix that. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, James, and I'll let you do your homework for Tuesday. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers.